Okay, so it has small booklet. That's the main light. Some charging cables and mounts. And then we have a remote. So we'll get back to the light. Let's take out the mount. Looks like a very cool mount. So it's a, a rotate lock mount. And then it has a small GoPro style mount. That's a charging cable, which is a USB-C. So here you can see you can mount it at the bottom of the handlebar or at top of the handlebar. And there is a lot of detailed information in different languages. So that's the main light. Let's take it out. I love the form factor. It's very cool looking light. Solid aluminum construction. Yeah, it looks really nice. You just rotate the mount. So the highlights of this light is on high mode, 1200 lumens for hour and 45 minutes. Medium mode, 600 lumens, three hours and 30 minutes. On low mode, 300 lumens for six hours and 30 minutes. And then it has night flashing mode that gives you 300 lumens for nine hours or day flashing mode, 600 lumens for 10 hours. I personally would not use night flashing mode because it can bother the oncoming traffic. I would not recommend, but daytime running lights, I definitely highly recommend, should always be on. And uh, day flashing mode is great. And the maximum throw distance is 160 meters. Once I take the light out at night, we'll see through distance. And uh, finally, this light is rated at IPX6, which means that you can use this light in the rain and it's fully waterproof. So let's turn the light on. So this is uh, daylight brightness. It's not warm white. Low, medium and high, three modes. It has a USB-C charging port in the back. Let's unbox the remote too. So we have a small booklet. Main remote has three buttons. Looks pretty cool. You mount it with this provided rubber band. So to pair the remote, you once it's on, you press it for three seconds and the light will turn red. And then you press any button on the remote. And the red light will turn to green flashing and it's paired. First button is a flashing. The second button will toggle low, medium, and high. And this is my favorite. This is like a high beam of a car. If you want to signal, you know, an oncoming traffic to let you go or you want them to go, you just use that button. So this light has a split lens. If you look at the top half, um, pattern is different from the bottom half. And this allows the light to disperse in a way that it goes down straight and not to the oncoming traffic. So let's head out. It's nighttime and see what the light is capable of. I'm very pleased with the result of the light. I think the light is very bright. I like the beam pattern of the light. It's focused down, but at the same time, you can see the shifters left and right on from the side. You can also see a little bit light, which will help you to be visible from both the sides. To turn the intelligent mode on with the light turned off, press and hold the power button for three seconds until it starts flashing in blue color. 
Now you are in intelligent mode. With this mode, the light will turn off in two minutes when the bike is not in motion or when it's parked. Soon as the light detects a little vibration or a motion, it will turn on. If the bike is parked, after two minutes, the light shuts down. So for those of you who are interested in knowing if this light can be charged with an external power bank, let's find out. So you can see the power bank is on and there you have it. It works. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.